regarding the things that are really important, time is of the essence. It is really important. In fact, the new message says the time is nothing to God but everything to you. The time that you have, the time you've been given. How that time is being spent and utilized. And the cost of time is just tremendous. In fact, I'd like you <clears throat> with me at this, this moment to stop and think about the lost time in your life. And don't reassure yourself, say, well, was, everything was for a purpose and everything happened as it should. No. Damn, you have wasted time. Let's be honest. You were caught in those eddies for a long time until something forced you out of them. <clears throat> so just take a moment and think about lost time in your life. And, and do this compassionately, but honestly. Well, I'll let you continue that on your own, um, but it's really important because this is part of what motivates you to be unwilling to waste time. I mean, certain relaxation and being carefree and times for that, certainly. But is your life really engaged? Or are you falling behind, losing connections? Remember, life is about what you do, what you serve, and why you serve. It's not about having realizations and weaving fantasies around them. You know, the new message is here to wake us up, not give us a better dream. You know, if you're doing what you need to be doing now, you will make this journey. You'll go on to the next thing. You will do, you'll do whatever that requires. You'll go on to the next thing. You'll do whatever that requires. You'll make the journey. And as you do so, you'll be increasingly unwilling to waste time. Like one of the practices uh, I mentioned above, um, is knowing where your mind is going. You won't be able to do that all the time, but you start by knowing where your mind is going as much as you can remember it. Because that's time. And if you don't know where your mind is going, then, and I, certainly, you know, where's my mind been for the last four hours? I don't know. I went to work. I did these things. But you don't know where your mind is going. Mindfulness. And it's not just to watch your mind, it's to direct your mind or to redirect your mind. Otherwise, you're going wherever it's going, instead of the other way around. If, you know, the mind is the perfect servant, but if it has nothing to serve, it serves itself. Or it serves false gods, or it serves other people, or it serves whatever it can think of to serve, because it only knows how to serve. It may even think it's the master. <laughs> It doesn't know what to serve. <clears throat> 